Hey everybody, this is Jeremy from That Scale RC Show, and I am here with Howard Wynn in Kent, Washington, and he is the owner of King Crawlers, which is the area's newest hobby shop, I believe. Um, Howard, you've been open for about two months? Uh, we started from, uh, we tested the cars since December. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah, and then we uh, officially uh, run the store from January 1st until today. Oh, wow. So it's nice. about uh, over three months already. And it's, it's, it's getting better and better every day. Great. Yeah. So what, what led you to open a hobby shop and an indoor crawler course? Were you interested in Scale RC prior or did, like, basically how, how did this come to be? Because this is such a unique place with having a hobby shop and such a big outdoor or indoor course. It's not something you typically see. So what, what got you interested in wanting to do this? Because it's a big job to take on. <laughs> uh, so the original idea from the very beginning is uh, is the day that I told my 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 buddies uh, Frankie. I say let's do something for our kids and our wife can play together. You know, like in the backyard. Yeah. You know, and my office is just right next to to this course, and I say there's another available spot right there that we can take and you know i told i told frankie okay let's do it i draw out the uh the layout for the uh the design of the course um i did uh, i chose all the materials that we can put together and some research on the internet um and then finally when the layout and the design was uh in place at that time i say i told i told frankie uh, okay, this is what I want. Uh, I think that your wife, my wife, my kid, your kids, you know, we can all play together and share it with all the folks around. Um, and um, and we we secure the play, the location here, and uh, we start building it. It took us about uh, one month since November that we moved in. Uh, to build everything from dirt to this, <laughs> so all like everybody around, you know, in the other offices, offices just um, stop by and, and stare at us and say, "Wow, this is from that to this. You guys are amazing." I say, "Thank you very much," but like my hand hurts really bad. <laughs> <laughs> I bet. Yeah, and then uh, and then it gets to the point that. Uh, we realized that the more challenges, the, the 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 better feeling that the drivers, you know, have. Right. And even for myself, as a as a you know a big fan of of the crawling, mm -hmm. and then uh, we twist here, twist there, uh, almost every single day. Uh, we find some new spot that we can improve and get a better, more challenge. Uh, um, so and so 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 did every every other you know customer they swing by this you guys change every single day so every time <laughs> you know uh th they stop by they they find something new in, in the course that's, that's cool. exactly what i uh, what we we wanted to it to be um and then um uh there's still you know until this point today uh there's a couple more you know uh, space that we can maximize mm -hmm. um the use of, of the space and you know go, we, we now we're gonna go higher yeah <laughs> which is really unique um you guys you'll be able to see the pictures that i've taken of this place um you'll see exactly what he's talking about here they they've actually gone and taken the square footage that they have available and increased it by doing bridges and uh, all these awesome wooden pathways and roads that are up elevated above the main part of the course. So really, I mean, you guys keep changing stuff to basically keep it exciting and people look forward to coming back to see what's new then, right? And yeah. so that's the reason yeah. for all the changes and the upgrades. Right. And The tips for the, the, the upcoming, you know, challenges is, is uh, we're going to build the... Uh, the, the 
uh, upper part of the second half of the tracks. We're gonna build the highway with like the overturn go around. Oh wow! Around. Okay. Yeah, and then it uh, it all links together, so uh, you cannot bypass. Let's say that you don't like that obstacle right in front of you, you pick the other line and go. But you, when you pick the the options with the the the, the second line right there, it's gonna be harder <laughs> than the existing one right there. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So at the the new the the upcoming uh, highway that well, that's what we call mm -hmm. um, is uh, it will take a lot of like uh, focus, skills, and uh, and patience from the driver to drive. You know. Um, through that terrain up high and then um, more zigzag not easy yeah, yeah not that's easy. one of the things I noticed right away just even from the first time driving on it was it is very technical and very challenging and uh, it, it's just it's fun but like visually it, it's you walk in and you're just your mind's kind of blown by like the scale of what's been created here and again I, I really encourage you guys to check out the pictures of this place because it's incredible and if you're in the Seattle area um, this it, if you're into Scale RC you have to come here and check this out in person because what I saw on Facebook and everything it looked cool but you have no idea exactly how awesome it is until you show up here it's uh, it's a really unique facility um, it almost looks like you guys did, did you have any kind of like experience with like racing rc cars in the past or anything I, like that? i've been playing with rc old type of rc from short course track to crawling to drifting uh but nothing is like i would say personally uh, nothing is close to you know crawling because uh it requires a lot of uh of you yeah in the game exactly yeah. so uh, uh, I decided to to invest all of my saving in this, and um, and create a very friendly, very natural as I, I as yeah I, as it can mm -hmm. um, for the for the indoor cars and for everybody to enjoy. Uh, after a long week of like hard working, oh yeah, and now it's time to play and have a party. You know <laughs> exactly, yeah. it, and that's what was so cool and what makes this so different is from the second you show up here, like it, it's a really friendly atmosphere and you you just feel welcome. Like everybody's talking to you, saying hi, everybody's super polite. There's no uh, like egos or anything. Yeah. It, it's it's a really cool mellow scene and it, it's. It really captures that essence of scale crawling, where it's just hanging out with your buddies yeah, and share the experience. Yeah, it's share the hobbies. Exactly, you know? because everybody's different. Mm -hmm. The toys is different. Yeah, they they're on their own. They have their own taste, their own styles, uh, and it shows just right there. It shows yeah. who you are right there. Exactly, <laughs> with yeah. the crawler that you have, yep. <laughs> it's you. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It's it's a you know the your taste in vehicles and the way that you personalize them i mean it, it's a direct reflection of you know you there's a lot of yourself into something like that and it's a cool way to express yourself the, the reason why i was asking if you had any racing experience is one of the neat features about this place is the fact that they actually have uh benches like pit tables all the way around the perimeter of the course which that's something that i normally see at like indoor racetracks and right. stuff and when i saw that here i was like oh my god that's so smart i mean that's that's perfect you know it keeps people out of the way yeah. and you're not tripping over stuff yeah. and you know it's convenient for guys to work on their stuff and it's just it's just kind of one small example of how well thought out everything is um next thing i was wondering was what came first, like the course or the hobby shop? Was the hobby shop kind of like an afterthought? Like, was the course the main idea? And then you thought, well, since people are here, we might as well be, you know, selling them, you know, products. I would say the home package. Oh, came, so that was your vision right yeah, from the start. Just right. All the in place. Package, then. Yes. Uh, we, uh, just one more uh, idea that we have been discussing back and forth uh, for the track that we have that. The franchising for 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 the brand for the the track and for own the 
the brainstorming that we have. Right. So we, uh, is franchising is under consideration that me and Frankie we build up uh, next couple months uh, that we would we would we do hope that everybody around the country can can uh, enjoy the indoor course. Um, First of all, it's because of the the, uh, the, the Seattle, Washington. Yeah, you know, we, exactly. we live in. Yeah, obviously, it's raining like. <laughs> yeah, today like we weekend. had sunshine, clouds, yeah. and rain yeah. all in yeah. you know a five-hour uh, span. So. Like, but you know, um, instead of like bringing your wife, your kid to the in the middle of the forest to to play, sometimes it's it's inconvenient. Um, but. Uh, uh, to have, to have, uh, excuse me. <laughs> that was fine. <laughs> Hang on. That's okay. Hannah, I'm, I'm, I'm talking to Christian here. I didn't know you were here. You were hiding away from me. Uh, me. Oh, uh, okay. Just give me, give me one minute, okay? Okay. All right, love you. Love you. <laughs> that's great. That's so cool that, the, you know, they're like hanging out here and it's not, yeah. it's not you know, like work for them. It's actually a fun environment for the being and spend time. It's really cool. Um, yeah. Um, obviously, in Seattle, that we, we have is raining all the time. And sometimes you bring your wife, your kids to the middle of the trails in the jungles. Sometimes it's not uh, comfortable. For, right. Maybe for you, but not not for the one who tag along with you. Exactly. So the indoor course, uh, I would say have a totally different feelings more secure more safe more I, yeah i think it's a lot more kid friendly there's a uh, actually one of the guys here uh, is from our local crawler club um he has two sons and uh one of them kind of is a little leery about heights and where we live up north near Anacortes, a lot of where we go is like kind of mountain sides and cliff sides and stuff at the parks we go to and uh it I mean, quite frankly, it just it scares him, and so you know, and it's understandable because I mean, you're one of the places that we go. I mean, you're actually so high up that you're looking down at the airplanes going underneath you and yeah. stuff. So yeah. I could see it'd be scary for kids, but yeah, this is really kid friendly. You guys have sodas and all kinds of stuff, yeah. you know, snacks it's, and everything. Um, and there's so many times uh, customer come here with the whole family, like three generations that's you know, great grandpa grandma and then you know mama and papa you know and the kids just they all got out together and play and and everybody got their own crawler and enjoy their times together it makes me really happy that's so great that. yeah. it, and there's not i mean even that is an uncommon thing i mean you, you'll see stuff like that at like axial fest and bigger things yeah. but you don't really see that at other places on just any given you know weekend day that you know you've got like an entire family down here enjoying it and it's that's something that's really rare and and one of the other things that i thought was incredibly cool was you walk in and immediately you notice like especially as far as kits go there's a huge variety of what they stock here it's not like uh some places where their inventory is you know heavily you know like axial biased or traxis or anything like that um when i came here i you guys have charisma you have cross you've got axial rc four-wheel drive um g-made i mean it's it's cool showing up somewhere and actually getting to see these and the nice thing is is that you guys this isn't just a business adventure for you you're actually passionate about the hobby and so you know like when you were showing us the capo jk max and everything like you know that's what's cool is like you're into it you know this is your thing and you love it and you know, you're, you guys are actually like building stuff and having it on display, and you don't really see that at some of the shops that you go to. You know, everything's boxed away and put up, and, yeah. you know, you're taking stuff out and handing it to us to handle and stuff, and, uh, you know, it's great. You've got a great selection of brands here. Um, <laughs> it, it's it's just unique. I've never seen anything like this place. I mean, there there's maybe two or three others that I've seen, but nothing has really been done quite on this scale and level to detail. Um so if, again, if you guys are in this area, this this is a must see place to come down and check out. Um, I believe it's what like is it fifteen for a day pass here? Um, it's uh, five dollars an hour, and the okay. day pass is like uh, yeah, fifteen dollars. Oh, perfect. Open the door, I need something. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> 
uh, yeah, fifteen dollars uh, a day and five dollars an hour. That's that's yeah. great. That's yeah. cheap entertainment for yeah. the family. Right, very affordable. Uh, because at the end of the day, it's it's all about sharing and enjoy together. Of course, like all the businesses, they they gotta make money at some point. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, and we, and so do we. <laughs> right. Yeah, but uh, but it doesn't have to be too hard. Right. To enjoy together. Exactly. You know? So uh, everybody, I, I want everybody to have a have, have a good time. Oh, yeah. and that was just it. I mean, I. There was, I didn't see people getting frustrated or yeah. mad, like everybody's smiling, having fun, and you know, it, it's going to be cool to watch you guys along this journey and seeing how this grows and where it takes you and stuff, and uh, I'm really excited to start bringing more and more friends down here to check this place out and uh, just kind of see the direction that all this goes, because it, it's definitely something special you're doing here, and I can't wait for people to see it. So. Well, Howard, thank you so much. I'll let you get back to your family. And, uh, thank you. It's fantastic.